Poď sa dá, pokiaľ nepozná. I think that they're gone. Wait, 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 wait. wait. The jackal will make sure the proverbial coast is clear. Oh, that's so sweet, Spinelli. Okay, protect me. The destructive ones have departed. <sighs> oh, my. Look at this mess. Three guesses who's going to have to clean this up. Oh, maybe they're still in the hotel. I should call security. No, wait, 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 wait. It appears that the vandals have left a missive. What does it say? <clears throat> See for yourself. Next time Kate Howard dies. I don't Russian know. creeps just trashed the Crimson offices. Finley and I could have been killed if they found us, which they didn't, obviously. And now the December issue is in danger of making press. Okay, the Jackal will respectfully interrupt as Maximus's thoughts are colliding and she's not making herself clear. Stone Cold, Comrade Karpov dispatched sinister servants to unleash mayhem on the Glacier One seat of power. They left a threatening missive in their destructive wake. What the hell is this, Sesame Street? Dad, this is Spinelli, uh, another trusted employee. Spinelli runs my computer network, and uh, uh, this is his girlfriend, Maxie. Um, M Max Misty is indeed of the female persuasion, and she is my most cherished and, and, and loyal friend, but I think the boy toy of the Brusque Lady of Justice is being overly generous in his relationship classification. What did he say? And, and though the jackal holds the loyal and faithful one in the highest of esteem, see, his loyalties lie firmly with... We're really sorry, Mr. Giambetti. We should not have barged in like that. Um, why are you prostrating yourself before Mr. Sir's protector? And why is Stone Cold dressed so formally, albeit stylish? I... Does this kid always talk like a cartoon character? I'm showing respect to Mr. G and Betty and his father, and you two need to do the exact same thing. Spinelli and I, we were just really nervous because your son talks about you all the time. I'm Maxie. Maximus. What a coincidence. Maximus? Max? Maxie, we could start like our own law firm or something. <laughs> She's cute. Uh, anyway, my, my friend meant no disrespect, and he talks like that because he's a cyber genius. They're really weird. Oh, a tech kid, I get it. You know, years ago, Tony and the boys, we picked up a geek like that. He <laughs> talked funny. He cracked us up all the time. Boy, it was a sad day when we had to whack him. <clears throat> Might the jackal inquire into the circumstances that prompted the aforementioned whacking of it's your former cyber It's not polite associate? to question businessmen like Maximus about their former dealings. Mm, you're a smart cookie. Thank you, sir. Do you work for my son, too? Actually, I'm in fashion publishing. But I firmly believe in learning from people who are successful in life, which is why I'm honored to be able to spend so much time around your son. Mr. G and Betty is the dawn of poor Charles. Everyone is in awe of his power and ruthlessness. I taught you well. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Hey, Muscles, can they get the cutie here a drink? Yes, Muscles. I would like a latte and some orange soda for my friend Spinelli. Here, how about those almond cookies mm. that are dipped in chocolate? If they're out here, they have some at the bakery down the street. And could you pick up a copy of Prima Bella and Couture from the newsstands? Is that too much for you to remember? No, it is against natural law. Shut up and take it. Ooh, the Italian issue of Prima Bella. Good job, Jason. This is all really right. hard to find. I aim to please you, Maxie. Okay. Well, do we all have what we need now? Because we really need to discuss this Karpov situation. Andrea Karpov? Big Russian? Smoking hot lady lawyer. Uh, yeah, that's them. He's been trying to establish a presence here. And what are you doing about it? Um, well, we brokered a truce. Please, that truce is old news. Not only did Karpov have my boss, Kate Howard, shot at her wedding to Sonny Corinthos, but two Russian sputtering thugs just trashed her office. Maximum Mista leaves out a crucial point, though. The, the note, the chilling note, was left in English. You let your bodyguard question your business? Oh, huh. Jason's just naturally curious. Let me see that. 
next time Kate Howard dies? This is Bull. Bull? I know Karpov by reputation. He's too smart to be that obvious. It wasn't Karpov's men. 